Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Shuruq TV. Our main topics tonight are Agreement between the government and SPLM signed in Juba. Sovereign Council's vice president meets with Revolutionary Front's leaders. The Galo reviews peace endeavors while meeting IGAD envoy in Juba. The official spokesman for the government delegation, Mohammed Hassan Taishi, has issued a statement on an agreement in initials in Juba yesterday. Dealing with security arrangements in both disputed areas, the agreement was signed between the government and SPLM North. Headed by Malik Agar, the movement signed the last dossier in the negotiations. Taishi affirmed that the ongoing negotiations with the entire forces are progressing towards comprehensive sustainable agreement. The government reiterated willingness to peacefully solve disputed issues in collaboration with the entire partners. Vice President for Sovereign Council Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu, heading the negotiating delegation to Juba, met with the Revolutionary Front leaders. The meeting was held in presence of the Southern Sudan Mediation Team. The Mediation Commission determined a schedule to complement negotiations connected with issues that were not settled yet. This was disclosed in a press release by Dr. Diuma Tok, a member of Southern Sudan Mediation. Security arrangements in Darfur, political dossiers and national issues, along with the two disputed areas, constitute priorities, Dr. Matok added. Signing the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in initials is scheduled for the 28th of August 2020, according to the chairman of the mediation, Tut Gelwak. Member of the Sovereign Council, Professor Siddiq Taur, met at his office with the delegation of Hamashkore Quranic Schools. The meeting comes in the context of efforts exerted to realize peace and coexistence in eastern Sudan. In a statement, Suleiman Batay of the Quranic schools, Khalwaz, revealed that the meeting tackled the community's role in confidence building among the disputing parties in the region, stressing the importance of enhancing development in the entire domains. An Egyptian aircraft with medical aid on board arrived in Khartoum airport today. The aircraft was received by the Prime Minister's advisor, Egyptian ambassador to Khartoum and director of ethnological at the Ministry of Health. The aid contains antibiotics, solutions and medicines related to virus and epidemics, according to the Egyptian ambassador. For his part, the director of ethnology said both Egypt and Sudan cooperate to deliver humanitarian aid to the vulnerable areas and fight epidemics in the region. <clears throat> the Vice President of the Transitional Council, Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu, met in Juba with the Igad Peace Envoy. Attended by Sudan Embassy Chargeed Affairs in Juba, the meeting touched on peace agreement implementation in South Sudan, pointing out to challenges experienced by both South and North governments. Degalu confirmed that tangible efforts made to attain sustainable peace. He further stressed the regional and international partners' contribution to peace process. A consultation council based in South Kordofan is to be formed within the forthcoming days. Authorized by President of the Transitional Government, the council is due to curb problems and reinforce peace endeavors together with restoring the community fabric. Addressing a gathering of freedom and change forces, the Southern Kordofan State Governor Hamid al-Bashir unearthed his government priorities. He pledged to work with transparency, halting hostilities and boosting peaceful coexistence. In response to an agreement concluded between Khartoum and Kadugli, the Governor expressed keenness on respecting cultural and social diversity in the region. And now we remind you with the headlines. Agreement between the government and SPLM signed in Juba. Sovereign Council's Vice President meets with Revolutionary Front's leaders. Degalu reviews peace endeavors while meeting IGAD envoy in Juba. Thank you very much for following and see you tomorrow.